in today's video. I'm so excited, you guys. We're about to head off to Walmart and I'm gonna show you guys some affordable DIY options and then I'm gonna take you into my craft room and show you what to do with them. If that's something you're interested in, definitely stick around. Okay, friends, we're at Walmart in the craft section and I'm about to show you guys my favorite deals here that are not, they're not cheap because the items are really, really nice. I would pay more than that for these items any day. So let me show you guys which ones I use. Okay guys, so the first item I picked up were these stacking crates. They're so awesome. They're only $10.48 and you get three different trays in there and you can do so many different things with these. Let me show you what to do with them. Start by taking them apart and they're just like, held together by zip straps on all of the handles so I just simply cut them off and then pulled them apart now for the bigger one I really was not sure what I wanted to do but I knew that for one of them I wanted to make like a key holder or whatever you want to call it so I went in my stash I pulled out this phone wallet keys lock the door kiss me goodbye transfer I've been wanting to use this transfer forever I just wasn't sure what to use it on so when I pick these up I automatically knew that this would be perfect so I just transfer on the phone wallet and then lock the door kiss me goodbye in my white chalk paste and then for the keys and the heart I transfer that on with my gold chalk paste so when I'm working with the shimmers, you might see here that I'm going over it quite a few times and that's just an OCD thing in my head in my head I guess I think if I put more layers, it's going to go through and the shimmer is going to be better. I don't know, you guys. Don't do what I do and waste your pace. Just put one layer on there. Um, now, I pulled it up and I could see that the gold, I couldn't see the gold very well. So all I did was just lay that right back down and put my white paste right over that. And look how amazing this looks, you guys. To hang my keys, all I did was take some C hooks and put those at the bottom and then last but not least for the back to hang this up I just nailed in a sawtooth hanger I like these ones I get from Walmart they're really really easy to hammer in those little teeny nails um, with my nails I have a hard time holding those little nails so these make it really easy because the nails are already there and all you have to do is just hammer that in and look how amazing this turned out you guys I love it so much let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I also wanted to mention that I did stick with transfers that they had in stock. There might be one or two that was in stock when I started and now is not, but I do know that this one should be in stock as well as all the other ones that are. I will have linked in my link tree in the description box below for you guys. If you can't find the description box, all you have to do is just click on the title of this video. Moving on to the next crate, I believe this is the smallest of the three. I take my Creative Kickstart Transfer. This one says every day is a fresh start. And this is so cute because it comes with another transfer as well and the little embellishments to decorate your project. So I just love that so much. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. And this is part of the Creative Kickstart where if you guys spend a certain amount on my chalk site, you will get um, certain transfers for free. So if you spend a certain amount, you'll get one. If you spend a little more, you'll get two. And if you spend more, you'll get three. So I just transfer that on with my white chalk paste. When I did this, I had in mind to put this in the girls room. If you guys didn't know, I know a lot of you guys know, but we're about to move and I'm so excited to decorate my girls room. They'll be sharing a room. They're so excited. They want to share a room and I I'm just so excited to decorate for it. So in this video, I did make a few things for their room and this was one of them. But once I transferred on my wording, then I just took the little felt flowers that it came with. Now it did come with little tape to tape it down, but I have hot glue. So I glued my 
leaves to the flower and then the flowers to either corner of my project and I just love the way this looks my daughter is super excited to hang it up in her room to hang it I just doubled up a piece of jute and glued it to the back and then cut off the excess and it works like a charm They also have that same tray set in a different color. And you guys, I'm so upset. I did not see this color. Um, I only saw this one when I grabbed it and I wish I would have grabbed this one. But look how cute these are. And they look like distressed wood. They're so, so cute. Moving on to the third and final tray. Now this is the middle tray. And this one was super easy. I knew that I wanted to make like a little tray for my table or my stove i have a stove cover on my stove if you guys have not seen that video that is an oldie but a goodie i still get comments on that video so i know that people still watch it i can put that in the cards in the right hand corner if you haven't seen it but i have a little spot on my stove that i could put this and it looks so cute so i just wanted to doll it up a little bit all i did was put some white dry brushing on it with my cotton dixie bell paint and this is why I was upset that I didn't see the white distressed ones because I probably would have picked those up instead of the natural wood ones but that's okay I love the way that everything turned out so it is what it is but anyway once I dry brushed my cotton dixie bell on then I go in with this home transfer now this one is an old one it's retired um, about a month ago they had a super great deal where you could buy a bunch of mystery transfers some were in stock some were retired and this is one of the ones I got so I figured that I would utilize it and that's why if you guys see a transfer that you like pick it up because things go in and out of stock a lot as well as they go retired so that new products can come in so I did just want to give you guys that tip I was showing you there to go and wash your transfer every single time as soon as you're done that way you don't ruin it and then I went in with the little wreath with my pesto chalk paste now this was not a full wreath I had to keep kind of going around and around putting my transfer in different spots and then once I was satisfied I did go back in with a small paintbrush as well as my chalk paste and just kind of fill in those empty spots. Anytime you fill anything in like this freehand, always make sure to keep looking at it, stepping back a little bit, making sure that you like the way that it's turning out before you continue. And look how cute this is, you guys. I love it so much. We literally just did three projects for 10 bucks. They're all really high end. I would pick them all up in a high end store. So let me know if you would as well. Look how cute this hanging frame trio is. You can do whatever you like with it. Once again, it's real wood. It's super heavy. $12.98 for three six by six frames. You could cut these apart so that way you have decor for different parts of your house or leave it apart like I did. So let me show you how cute mine turned out. Okay guys, this might be one of my favorites from this video. You guys can let me know what you think. But I took the transfer from my home block and my love block set. It was a chalk made kit and when I filmed this, there were some in stock. But unfortunately, they're out of stock now. But I might have a few extra. So um, if you would like to get your hands on the block set, just reach out to me. I can see what I have. But anyway, I just cut up the transfer and... I I transferred on the word home at the top. Now on the block set, you'll transfer on each individual letter onto the blocks. But for this, I thought it would be really cute to put them all in the first square. For the second square, I cut up the sweet home in half. Now on the block set, sweet home will be all together. Um, but for this, I knew that it wouldn't look right. It probably wouldn't fit. So after I transferred 
on the home with my black chalk paste then I also transfer on the sweet home with the black chalk paste as well so here I am cutting it and this material that I'm chalking on like the back of the frames it's really nice material so if I messed up on this it's super easy just to take a baby wipe or a q-tip to just wipe it right up and clean it up and I love that about this uh, decor piece Now, I'm not going to lie, you guys, this video did not almost happen. I was really flustered. I've been in and out of my shed and just trying to find the right spot to craft and everybody be happy, my kids, myself, etc., etc. So I was trying to get comfortable. I couldn't get comfortable. I didn't have much time to waste. So I almost quit you guys and I was like nope you know what my people depend on it they look forward to it I have to show up and I have to give it my all so thank god to Chalk Couture because if it wasn't for Chalk Couture as well I definitely would not have gotten all of these projects done so right now in my life um, Chalk Couture is my favorite medium to use and you know, I know that not everybody likes that, but for right now, I'm loving it. And for those of you that do, I appreciate every single one of you. And for those of you that don't, just stay tuned. I'm buying a house. There's going to be so much more content to come, and it will not be all Chalk Couture DIYs. So anyway, you guys, for the bottom piece, now I knew I wanted to put a little wreath in there, but this greenery that I had it was a little bit too bushy and I just wanted to show you like I kept messing around with it trying to get it in there trying to glue it down but because this white surface like I told you like wipes up really easily the hot glue did not want to stick so plan b no big deal all I did was take a piece of ribbon that I absolutely love it was a little bit too thick so I just folded it in half and glued it to the top of the wreath and then I just glued it to the top of the frame and and then over the back and look how cute this is you guys I love it so 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 much again I can't figure out which project is my favorite but this one is definitely up there in my top few obviously my favorite are the wood signs and you know the wood based decor that Walmart sells. This is only $6.68. It's really lightweight, so it's perfect for your wall, especially if you can't like put nails in your wall or something and you have to use command strips. This is perfect because it's so light. And again, this is another one that you could make double-sided. And again, it is $6.68. So let's go see what to do with that one as well. So this one I made for my new home. I take my Life is Better in the Country transfer and I transfer on that wheat with my gold paste. Now originally I was going to do all the wording with my black paste, but I ultimately decided to do the country in an ombre effect. So to do that, all you have to do is do half of your word in each color and then you just bind the two colors together either by a little bit of water on the end of your finger and then wiping off the excess once you bind them together or like I just did I figured out this technique I just took my squeegee and just kind of blended them down and it looks the same I love it it's much less messy and I think I was on to something there so next this one was super easy that's what I love most about Chalk Couture anybody can do it it's so easy it takes minutes um, you can reuse them you can sell them they look like high-end images I mean the list literally goes on but but to finish this sign off, I take some jute and I just wrap it at the bottom and the top and securing it on both sides with some hot glue. And then just making a super simple bow, actually two bows, 
gluing them together and then gluing them to the top corner and look how cute this is you guys i'm sorry i know that like other styles are in right now but i personally just love the farmhouse and um, I'm really excited to show you guys the new Chalk Couture catalog because it is farmhouse, but it's definitely more modern, clean. I really, really love what they did, and I'm so excited to show you guys, but I also absolutely love this transfer, and this one you can find on my Chalk site. Next, I picked up one of these palette signs. It was $7.78. This is a longer one, and then the one that I picked up is more of like a white distressed for $7.98. It is a 12 by 12. It's totally finished and you can do whatever you like with it. You can make it double sided. Look how adorable. So let's go see what to do with this one. Okay, now this is another one for my daughter's room. Now, I was going to do something totally different with this one, but Sophia saw this rainbow and was like, please, mom, make this for me with this board. She's just like me where she has a very good sense of design and just like knows what she likes. So I was like, you know what? Perfect. I love it for the, I love it for you. So anyway, this is part of that creative kickstart Um set with the flowers and the transfer that I made for her room with the trays. Um, so this is the other part of it. Look how cute this is. It comes with two different sayings. I went with something beautiful is on the horizon with the little hearts on the end. I, I just love hearts. So that's probably why I picked it. And I also do love the saying, but it also comes with these gorgeous wooden rainbow pieces. So you transfer on your wording, then you glue down your rainbow pieces. Now, again, it does come with tape, but I like hot glue. So use what you want. And then once you have your rainbow pieces down, then you can put your transfer down and transferred on the colors that you like. Then just like silk screens, you pull that back to reveal your gorgeous image. I love it so much. It never gets old and look how cute this turned out. I figured that I could transfer on their names, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like it plain or do you think that I should transfer on the girls' names? Check out this little fence. I don't know what they call it. Wood fence sign. It's by Hampton Art. It's only $9.60 and it is so, so cute. I cannot wait to DIY with this. Okay guys, this is another super simple one, but looks so high end. So obviously I start by taking the tag off or the wrapper I don't really know what to call that, but I just peel that all or like rip it apart. It's just paper, so it didn't take much to pull it apart. And then I take my truck transfer. Now you're probably wondering why there's two sides of it. This has a coordinating truck cutout, so um, you don't have to get that, but there's two sides that way. If you get the truck cutout, then you can transfer on both sides of your truck in maybe like a different pattern or color or something like that. But I take the first truck and I just again cut it apart from the bottom piece and then I fuzz that with my fuzzing cloth to make sure that when I pull it up it will pull up nicely. So once I had the first part of the truck transfer on with my black paste then I go in with the second part of the truck with my storm chalk paste. Now this transfer is the accessories to the truck. For this particular project, I'm only gonna use the Farm Fresh Produce one and only transfer on the Farm Fresh. And once again, I peel back that transfer to reveal that gorgeous wording. Next, I made a simple double loop bow, and then I made, so this is kind of like a fake bow. You make the first part, and then you just take two, 
actually one piece, fold it kind of on a diagonal and then glue it to the first piece and then fluff up your bow so you have a gorgeous looking bow and nobody knows that it's two pieces. Once I had that glued together, then I glue it down to the middle of my sign and then I just take some greenery gluing that to the ends of the ribbon and literally that was it you guys. I absolutely love the way that this turned out and I really love that this is one of those pieces that I can keep up in my home all year round. Now, I didn't pick any of these up, but look at these two-pack tin sheets for $10.98. These would have been perfect for those barn doors that I made. In fact, let's pick two of them up and actually two packs of them, and I will show you a DIY with these in a different video. I didn't pick up any of these either, but check out how cute these are. This one's 522 and it's this cute little shape. And then this one is 997. Let me show you guys all the different shapes they have. Okay, so this one's 522, this one's 997, and this one's 997 as well. They're really, really good size, and I just love the way they look. So let's pick them up, and if you guys wanna see how I DIY them, let me know in the comments, and I would love to bring that to you. Now, I know all you guys always ask about my Waverly chalk paint section. My store still carries them. They're still fully stocked. Um, I've asked them if they're going to stop, and they said no, not anytime soon, so. I'm not really too sure about different locations in the state, but I do know that my location is always stocked up pretty nicely. So look at all these galvanized signs they have. They have the like longer one as well as the square one. And then those are 1266. That one's 1256. They have the round sign. I'm not too sure how much that one is, but I do know that this shiplap one is 2072. I don't know if I would pay that for that. Let me know in the comments. Would you guys pay that for that? It is really good size, um, but I know that I could definitely make that for much, much cheaper. So I don't know if I would do that one. Let me know what you guys think. So it would be a good idea for me to paint a flower with these paints because uh -huh. this is green, pink, green, pink, blue, yellow, orange, dark, dark, dark orange, orange, and light orange. Perfect. Those are all the colors of this. There's the tag on the back. Love it. And I want these for my room. Okay. Bye. Bye. You guys do not sleep on Walmart's florals. They are comparable to Hobby Lobby and Michael's and they are at a fraction of the cost. If you guys have been around for any amount of time, then you know that I rave about Walmart's florals because they're just that amazing. Always check for the seasonal florals because with every season they put out different types of florals. They're putting out the spring stuff, so they're finally putting out the lamb's ear again and the lavender, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is the floral that I used in my last video, my trash to treasure. So if you guys haven't seen that, I will link that in the cards in the right hand corner. Walmart has a lot of good wooden shapes for a decent price. Like these are 97 cents, pretty much 
like three cents cheaper are now 28 cents cheaper than Dollar Tree. But um, definitely always check your local Walmart. Now I wouldn't buy stuff like this just because you know you can get that at Dollar Tree for cheaper, but always check your wood section. So as always, my beautiful friends, thank you so, so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you so much. If you guys enjoy my content and want to support my channel, you can find a buy me a coffee link in the description box below. But any way you support me, rather that's just watching my content, um, clicking the ads, watching the ads, there's so many different ways that you can support your favorite creators and whichever way you support me I appreciate you so so much I know that this is a little bit different than my Dollar Tree content but I did want to show you guys that Dollar Tree is not the end all be all and you can get some really really gorgeous DIY products from other places so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already what are you doing I would love for you to become part of my crafty family I can see that a lot of you watch you're not subscribed so what are you waiting for i can't wait to have you and until next time guys if nobody has told you today you are absolutely amazing and worthy you are gorgeous and i love you with all my heart and soul and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye Check out the videos that are popping up to the left here that YouTube recommends you watch next while you're waiting on my next upload or subscribe to your right.